Hi everyone, James Price here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so very much for all of the love and support you've shown me on my previous videos, all the likes and shares and the wonderful comments. And thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I truly am grateful to you guys. Thank you so very much. And speaking of subscribing to my channel, if you're watching my video right now for the first time, then I recommend you check out more of my content. And then if you feel it'll be a blessing to you, go ahead and subscribe. And when that bell icon picks, um, pops up, you click it and you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. And if you just so happen, because it is possible, you feel that this is not for you, then that's fine. I, I'm okay with that. But if you do know someone that has been through loss, meaning loss of loved ones, then share this channel with them because I know it will be a blessing to them. Because I myself have been through tremendous loss over the past couple of years, so I know that it will be a blessing to them. Okay, and I would appreciate you either way. And also, guys, in the description underneath this video, I put my very own personal email. That way, if you want to reach out to me regarding one of my videos or you just have a question that you think I might be able to help you with, then by all means, man, send me an email. You know, that's why I put it there. I have helped people in the past and my channel is small enough that I'm able to answer emails in a day or two. OK, so hit your boy up. Don't be bashful. I would be absolutely honored to help any of you guys. And I mean that sincerely. OK. Also, in the description, in the, underneath this video, I have a new channel, guys, and I put the link to my new channel. It's called Writing with JP, and I'm so excited about this new channel. I'm telling you, it's awesome. If I wasn't myself writing with JP, I'm telling I would uh, subscribe to Writing with JP. So that's all I need to say. I'm not even going to give you guys too much about it. Just hit the link. Go on over there, check me out, subscribe, tell everybody you know about it. And I would appreciate your support, man. Stop playing with your boy, man. Show me love, okay? Stop it. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you guys for that. Thanks in advance. All right, guys. In this video, I, I want to talk about something that's kind of like, kind of personal and serious to me. Um, in this video, that's what I want to talk about. I have a friend. Um who who lost uh lost a, a loved one lost a, a child to violence and this friend of mine was you know went just going went through a lot of pain and um and they said something that really um really saddened me but it's something that people go through and something that people are being taught and what they said is, where was God when this happened? Where was God? Why did he step in? I paid my tithe. That just, that, that saddened me, man. Because people believe paying a tithe will exempt you from death or your loved ones that paying a tithe will make you rich and wealthy and paying a tithe will give you good health and it's just not the truth I always hear people talk about you being the head and not the tail above only and not beneath lending and not borrowing and bless going in and coming out all of that stuff and that's scriptural yes it is but that's not about the tithe if you don't know what that scripture is, it's located in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 through 14. Make sure you study it. And before we go any further, if you guys are, are believers like I am, okay, in the Father, Almighty God, Yah, and His Son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Hamashiach, and in the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, you guys need to do two things. Read and study His Word, number one, and you need to pray. That's what we all need to do to draw closer to him. It's just like a marriage. If you're a husband, you need to spend time with your wife. If you're a wife, you need to spend time with your husband. You guys can't blame it on anybody else. Can't blame it on work or the kids. You need to make time to have intimacy between each other 
in order for your marriage to grow. It's the same way with the Almighty Heavenly Father. You need to spend time with him in reading and studying his word and in prayer. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, it talks about a prayer closet in a secret place. It talks about going in there, shutting the door behind you, seeking Almighty God in secret, and he will reward you openly. So you need to spend time with him. I have a video called, Can You Keep a Secret? I'll put the link right here above me. That way you can click on that, see the video. You'll actually see my, my actual prayer closet in that video. I feel it'll be a blessing to you. I was talking to a young lady a few weeks ago, and she said, well, James, I got a small apartment. You know, I don't have an extra closet. And I said, make the side of your bed your prayer closet. Just get on your knees and spend time with him consistently, daily. Spend time with him in prayer. You need to do that. Like I said, if you're a believer in the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, just as I am, you need that. You also need to do what 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15 says, Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You need to spend time with him in prayer. You need to read and study his word. That's how you're going to know his will. And for people to to pretty much just flat out deceive people by telling them it's just to get a tithe or to get an offering is wrong it's deceptive and it's evil and only and all of those people that are doing that will pay for it you best believe that when they stand before yeshua hamashiach christ jesus that great judge you will definitely pay for it lying to god's people is wrong turning people away from God because they believe that they are going to be blessed beyond measure because they pay a tithe. If that's the case, why is my wife, did, why did my wife pass away? I don't want to say dead. Why did my wife pass away? Why did my daughter pass away? If that's the case, paying a tithe will not improve your health. Bussing your butt and working hard will improve your health. Trust me, I know. A year and a half ago, I was 360 doggone pounds, man. And now I'm 268 pounds. And I'm almost to my goal at three at uh, 230. I'm a big guy. I want to be a big guy. I want to be strong. But I'm bussing my butt to lose that 92 pounds. That's how I lost weight, not because I paid a tie. We got to read and study the word of our father. Stop chasing after money. That's why a lot, a lot of people are paying a tithe because they, they feel that, that they'll get something out of it. Like you can buy God. No, your obedience will have you blessed. Obedience. Not anything else. Your obedience to his will, his way, his word. Don't chase riches. Don't, trade, don't chase after what you can get from him. Chase him, the blesser, not the blessings. Proverbs 23 and 4 teaches us that labor not to be rich. Cease from your own wisdom. You can't do this. Seek him. He will bless you. And he's not going to bless your health. You work hard and bust your butt and he'll give you the strength to lose weight. He'll give you the strength to be consistent, just like he did me. I give all glory to my heavenly father. I don't give no glory to me. I know I can't buy him. That's foolishness. Don't believe that. All right, guys? I didn't want this to be more than 10 minutes and I, I don't think it will be. In Psalms chapter 34 and 7, it says, The angels of the Lord encamp around those that fear him or reverence him, and they will deliver you. It doesn't say if you pay a tithe, the angels can encamp around you. We got to start reading and studying his words so we know the truth, guys. Paying a tithe is not going to exempt you from death. James chapter 4, verses 13, 14, and 15 teaches us that our life is here a moment, it's gone the next, it's like a vapor. We don't know what tomorrow holds, is what it teaches us. 
Stop saying what you're going to do and start saying, if it's the will of God, I'll do this. We got to start studying for ourselves. There's nothing wrong with leaders in the body of Christ. We need them, but only if they are teaching the unadulterated, uncompromising word. That's it. There's no loophole. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. That is it. The Father is about holiness and truth. And if, and if they're not doing that, they're not worth it. Okay? Your obedience, as it describes in Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 through 14, your obedience is what will get you the blessings of our Father in heaven. All right, guys, I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.